We are Cactus Wrestling. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Welcome back to Kingda. Oh, wait, no. Cactus Wrestling. <laughs> uh, yeah, so welcome back. We are here to, to discuss the return of AJ Ferrari to college wrestling. It it's is a long official. awaited return. Yeah, it's been speculated for quite some time, but he's officially back wrestling. Uh, what, tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. I think tomorrow and Saturday. So today is Thursday for us that are filming, and we hopefully get this out soon. But he'll be wrestling at the Soldier Salute in Iowa. Unattached, mind you. He's not. Unattached. He did visit Iowa recently and took some you know, photo opportunities in the black and gold, You know, tease the fans a little bit, Maybe. get the hype up. After seeing those pictures, there's how could he not go to Iowa? <laughs> like, could you imagine if you went to a different school it's after like, making that photo shoot? That's right, guys. I'm committing to Penn State. <laughs> yeah, like just bold choice. The, my, have, I, I think he's making his intentions very clear. One thing I did notice if for the guys that have seen the pictures is he did actually look smaller. Um, he's been working, you know, last time he really like publicly announced his weight. He was like 225, 230. And uh, in that photo, he said, you know, I'm, I'm down to around 205. And he he was noticeably smaller, yeah, especially he his mean. upper body. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he's, and, he's definitely done a good job, you know, shrinking down to 197. And it's it's very clear he's committing to 197 and not to try to grow into 285. Right. So I'm – and I'm glad to see that he's going to be competing at the Soldier Salute. And oh, yeah. Which, has the potential to be actually a halfway decent bracket for him if all the teams that are attending actually send their A guys. Which, yeah. after seeing AJ register, they might be pulling. <laughs> yeah, there's always there's always the chance that guys back, you know get cold feet, and especially with the season like it's been so far, where it's like, oh, like, you know, we're not ducking, we're just like injured, but only for like one match, and then we'll be back next week. Yeah, well, I mean, Cornell's not here, so I don't think we'll be seeing too much ducking because, I mean, Iowa State is also at the Soldier Salute. So, um, yeah, we shouldn't see too much. But uh, South Dakota State's there, so oh, yeah, potential Sloan, phenomenal matchup for Ferrari, Like, if, especially if he's trying to make a, some noise. <laughs> yeah, right out the gate. First, first competition that he's in. Um, going with Tanner Sloan, if if uh, Tanner's in the bracket, that I mean, that he'll see how he stacks up real quick uh, with the returning national runner-up. Yep. Um, so I mean, yeah, hopefully Sloan is in the bracket, and we'll get to see if if he's a good matchup there. Um, I mean, Nebraska's going. If Silas Allred is in the mix, mm -hmm. I mean, it's the returning Big Ten champ. So I mean, but he he's had mixed results so far this season. So I would imagine AJ should be able to handle him. But yeah, still. I mean, um, you got Rocky Elam too, supposedly going for Mizzou. Um, yeah. I mean, even down to like guys like Julian Broderson that are nationally ranked. So it'd be good to see like, okay, you know, I'm or sure AJ could work through him pretty well, but it'll be interesting to see how he's, this kind of time off has really, you know, impacted him. Yeah. Well, and his potential wrestle off against Glazier. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, no, I don't think Zach Glazier's who's a senior, and I'm not completely sure on his eligibility because it does get a little hazy. I'm sure he's not just going to be like, "Oh yeah, AJ, like you, you come take my spot, man." I'm sure it'll be cool. I'm sure yeah, he's going yeah, into that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's down. I'm sure, he's going in. He's he looks like, so good like, in the in the black and gold that you know what? I'll just ride bench. You know who else will be there is uh, Joey Novak from Wyoming, or should be there, and he's I think ranked like 15th or something. Um. I mean, yeah. So, I mean, it's maybe. it's turning out to be an yeah. actual halfway decent bracket there, um, oh, yeah. for for one ninety seven. Like things could be could be pretty interesting, um, and like you could see AJ creep right up into the top five. It, I mean, it, he is a return returning national champ, so that's not yeah. <laughs> you'd think he would be in the top five, uh, so. Ideally for him, he'll win the bracket. If and if it's against the if it's as loaded as it could be, I mean, it'd be an impressive feat to do so. Yeah, but um, it'll definitely be the top two guys there. You know, having if if Tanner Sloan and Rocky Elam are there and they're in the ready to scrap, this could be a really great measuring stick right off the jump. 
um, to yeah. see if, yeah. if AJ is back to where he is or if it's a lot to do about nothing. Um, well, he only had the one loss, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then he had the car accident. So he was on a really yeah. good trajectory again for another great season as a sophomore. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. If, if he can come through this unscathed, if, uh, if it's as loaded as it could be. Um, but I guess we'll see. And then his even his brother is going to be yeah. back in, uh, at 149. So maybe we'll see uh, what's it called? Voinovich on Ferrari round two. This could be, I mean, with this point of the year and now second semester starting, like this could be now the actual wrestle off where the brands are going to say, okay, like we're going in this direction or we're not going in this direction. I mean, if Ferrari beats him a second time, how do you not go with Ferrari? Like he beat him two times in live competition. It wasn't just like a wrestle off. This is like an actual tournament setting and you beat him twice. Like, but It'll be also interesting because you know who else should be there at 149? Casey Swiderski, Ridge Lovett. Oh yeah, that the, though yeah, though both of them potentially could be. So yeah, this I mean that'd be, be yeah. a good measuring stick for for Ferrari to see how he stacks up with things. Oh, yeah, this could be a really really good measurement. I feel like Nebraska usually does just send their A squad to any event they go to. Nebraska's so, pretty good about like not ducking. Yeah, like and Nebraska, just wanting to rest. Like, like Ridge will probably be in the tournament. Yeah. So, like, Ferrari, if he's on, finds his way to the finals or is on Ridge's side, I, I'm sure we'll probably get to see that matchup. Um, yeah, there, there should be some solid guys, you know, in, in these weights. This is a much bigger tournament than it, it was previously. I mean, I remember, I think I picked on the Soldier Salute um, in our group chat. So I was like, oh, I was going, you know, to the Soldier Salute, and then there was no one there at all. <laughs> Yeah, like and, like uh, the Luther Open, but yeah, now, and I was like, man, now it's like, actually it's yeah, they're building it, which is game. awesome. You know, you love to see it. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, but Columbia is also going to be there. You got Iowa, Iowa State, Minnesota, Missouri. Yeah, uh, you got Navy, mm-hmm. Nebraska, UNC, Northern Iowa. I mean, we could see potentially uh, Parker Kickison on uh, Trey Munos. Yeah, that'd be a that'd be a really good match too. I'd love to see that. Let's shoot Munoz possibly, you know, hopefully feeling better since the last time. I mean, what you mean when Feldkamp uh Yeah. Pinned him and then he hopefully yeah, hopefully not wrestle know, back makes, well. Make some smart wrestling choices this time around. Yeah, that that'd be nice. I I'd I'd like to see that. But but we'll this see. could be a huge coming out party for Iowa, where it's like, you know, let's say, you know, AJ cleans house beats Sloan Elam wins the tournament that's huge let's say younger Ferrari does well makes the finals maybe even loses to Ridge Lovett in the finals but beats Swiderski you say wow like he's an all-american right there yeah I mean that's a huge these are huge points for Iowa potentially in a year that many others you know myself and many others kind of wrote them off we're like oh well the Iowa program's done yeah yeah exactly They're, they're, they're somehow scrapping it together yeah Oh my gosh! You know who's also going to be there at 184? Lenny Pinto. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Pinto because he had Nebraska. For Nebraska. There. Well, again, it it depends if they send their full lineup. Nebraska, like I've said, Nebraska usually does. Like when they send a team to an event, they it's their A squad. They don't send a B squad. Yeah, they they you know, and Iowa State too is very much on the same page. You know, yeah, I'd like to see. You might have Feldkamp versus Munoz again. That's true. We could see <laughs> Feldkamp Munoz round two. I mean, Munoz was about to take him down, but then he just yeah. fell into that trap. I mean, Missouri is the team that tends to not send their full squad. So yeah, we'll probably not see all their guys. I'd like to see Noah Certain, though, be there, especially with Jory Volk potentially being in the bracket. Um, because Volk with the big upset he had, um Maybe he, I mean, certain on most of the rankings are is ranked second right now, and he's undefeated. So maybe Volk will change that, or someone else in the bracket will, uh, potentially. So the other big thing, and I, I don't know about you guys watching this, and you know, you might be watching this after the fact. Missouri and Iowa State are both going to be there. One sixty five, Keegan O'Toole, David Carr. I don't see it happening. Um, Probably I not. don't think they're going to match up. I think that someone's not going to be there, or both of them's not going to be there. Oh, Tool's probably not going to be there. I just don't see it happening. Um, 
it is what it is. I think that these I mean, guys it would be are great because then there'd be like four matchups this yeah. year instead of but three. I just don't see it happening. Um, I think someone's going to be like, hey, you know, my back's sore or I'm not feeling good or, you know, you got the holidays, whatever. I just – on uh, paper, it's Friday. It's biggest, I, I don't want to wrestle on a Friday. Yeah. It's the biggest match that no one's talking about on paper. Yeah. And I think the reason no one's talking about it is because they probably know it's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it does, you're speculating because the, the 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 registrants isn't out yet, so yeah. we don't know who's in or who's out for this. Except we do know AJ Ferrari is in. Yeah, thank you, Track Wrestling, for, and, and Anthony Ferrari. The incredible system that you are. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm sure maybe we'd be able to get a deep dive into the. No, it doesn't list the rest. It's not available to the public yet. No. It's just teams on track so unfortunately we don't get to see that but no yeah i mean i i hope this is the highest level event that it is it could be even though it probably won't be i hope everyone shows up i hope all these high level matches we talk about actually happen Um, yeah i'd love to see keegan o'toole david carr before the new year even starts yeah Uh, i don't think it'll happen I'd love to see AJ Ferrari wrestle some tough guys. I'd like to see Julian Ramirez enter as the only Cornell guy to try and take <laughs> out both David Carr and Keegan oh, O'Toole. <laughs> After he ducked him in the duel, he's like, you know, I, 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 I got you now. I'm in for the social salute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mikey Caliendo out there, too. Yeah, Caliendo. I mean, we could see uh, – what's his face? Uh Chittam back against Frannick. Yeah, I would like to see that. Like I said, there's a ton of matchups that can happen. Yeah. I just don't anticipate that a lot of them will. Echemendia um, against think... Woods, round two. Yeah. Anthony Echemendia. I again I could be a pessimist about this. All these guys could be strapping it up and going ready to wrestle. But I think that the big story for this tournament is the return of AJ Ferrari. I think that that's yeah. the most concrete thing that's going to happen is that yeah. AJ Ferrari is going to wrestle and he's probably and real woods is going to be benched and Etchman it's going to be yeah. it. That's it. It's going to be something like that. Ugh. I still don't, I don't even, you know, unrelated to this, but I, I don't think AJ Ferrari is winning a national title this year. And I think that he's taking third. You think he's taking third? Yeah. I think he's taking third. Who's going to be ahead of him besides Brooks? Uh, Hydley. Oh, I mean, he's looked good this year. He's looked really good in, you yeah. know, in freestyle and in folk style. And yeah. a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you know, AJ is so strong. And it's like, that's cool. Um, so is the hoagie boy. Also, like, not to, like, belittle this point, like, my master's is in exercise science and nutrition. Like, I do this professionally, like, at high level with, like, really with, like, professional athletes. Um, AJ is strong but not nearly as strong as like he believes people, you know, leads people to believe. And that's, that's awesome. Like if you're super strong, that's really cool. But there's a reason that the world's best wrestler, David Taylor, for example, is not out here winning a bench press competition. (laughs) Like I squat bench deadlift more than David Taylor while being, while weighing less than him. I'm sure he would probably beat me in a wrestling match. Probably. I mean, it'd be close, right? (laughs) I'm sure that I tell my high school guys and my youth guys, wrestling is supplemental. I mean, lifting is supplemental to your wrestling. You yeah. lift to better your wrestling. You don't wrestle to better your lifting. And AJ's been doing a ton of lifting, which is awesome, but we haven't seen that he's done a ton of wrestling, which is not so great for him. You have a guy like Hydley and Brooks who are doing wrestling out the wazoo and doing strength and conditioning that's directly carrying over to their mat wrestling. And we're seeing it. And, you know, AJ not having wrestled, it's tough to say that we're going to see the same. Well, that's why I'm glad that he's in the mix for tomorrow. And hopefully yeah, I, I think it'll be a really good measuring stick. Competitors to re- yeah, exactly measure up. It'll be. It'll sure. be good. But yeah, let us know your thoughts. Do you think uh, AJ's winning the bracket, even if it's as difficult as it can be? I mean, obviously, I think he'd be the favorite to win it. Yeah. None I of those beats, studs are there. I, I think he beats Sloan and Alam. I think he wins the bracket. I just don't think he's going to win a national this year, but he's got extra eligibility. I could definitely see him doing it maybe next year. He accepts nothing but first. What do you, 
He's the great Italian he, champion. I love AJ Ferrari. I've been a fan of him since high school. Um, since he was in high school. Um, he is so comical though. And the best part is like he's not nothing he does is a bit. Like he lives in Brewster right now with his girlfriend and his and their family. Like they're down the street from where we are. Um yes. he is as real as they come. That's exactly every way he portrays himself. That's not a joke. That's he lives his life. He's very true and authentic to himself. And I love that. Um, I love when he puts things like I'm the best 197 pound wrestler ever in college history. And it's like, dude, like Kale Sanderson. For his freshman year title. Yeah. Who like, you know, one had more bonus points, like undefeated. You know, you have you have one loss, like just by that definition, like you're not. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, Kale. Yeah. I mean, Bo, <laughs> Bo, you know, Bo Nickel. Yeah. Well, I mean, Kale had no losses. So that's true. But yes, he's 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 awesome. I love AJ Ferrari. I think he's great for the sport. Love him or hate him. Um, he's gonna get people tuning in. And in a sport like wrestling that we're trying to actively grow, we need heroes and we need villains. And he's totally okay being the villain. Yeah. But that being said, sum it up. He's gonna win the soldier salute, gonna beat Jackson Smith. I mean, uh, Tanner Sloan and Rocky. Elon Actually, Jackson, Jackson Smith, Smith is going to be there too. Maryland's going to be there too. Yeah. No. Are they? No, 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 no. I don't think. I don't think there. Yeah, that's on. No worries. Navy's going to be there. That's. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> Navy will be there. My mistake. My mistake. Um, I think he's going to win the bracket. He's going to be signed for Iowa, and he's going to be an All American this year, and he's going to be huge for Iowa. Yeah. Let us know your thoughts. Where do you think he'll stack up uh, at the Soldier Salute and at the end of the season? Will he land at Iowa? Will he decide to go somewhere else? We can't wait to find out. Thanks for watching. We are Cactus Wrestling, and we'll see you next time on our next video.